E aí pessoal, tudo bem? Aqui quem fala é o Edu. Galera, é o seguinte, estamos aqui de volta com Red Dead Redemption 2. Galera, se puderem deixar um gostei aqui e compartilhar o vídeo, eu agradeço, ajuda muito o meu trabalho. Ativem notificações de vídeos novos do canal clicando no sininho para não perder nenhum vídeo. Baixem o bilômetro, minha extensão gratuita que ajuda vocês a economizar dinheiro online. E galera, o que eu vou fazer é puxar o mapa. Um, nossa, a gente tá numa região perigosa aqui, né? Perto de Valentine. Eu vou fazer o seguinte, eu vou seguir pra fazer a missão do Dutch. Pera aí que o game ia mostrar alguma coisa, ó. Uma estranha gentileza, o Dutch precisa falar com você. Um, vamos nessa. Vamos nessa rodar a missão do Dutch. O vídeo anterior foi da hora. Quem diria que um roubo de ovelhas teria repercussão tão impactante, né? Mas vamos que vamos aí. Eu tô achando que a gente vai acabar migrando o local do acampamento para uma nova região. Talvez aqui seja o fim do capítulo 2. Eu não tenho certeza. Eu tô jogando o game pela primeira vez com vocês, né? E não tomei spoilers e tal, então... Vamos ver o que acontece. Cara, tô impressionado que não subiu pro nível 4 ainda o nosso relacionamento com o cavalo, mano. Já, já... Mano, a gente galopou muito junto já, tá ligado? E, tipo, ainda assim, não temos um nível de intimidade nível 4, é... É estranho. Bom, vamos lá. Dutch. There he is. I reckon you might be the most loyal of the lot of us. What else is there? We keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. So, we moving? Yeah. We stop when we find some place sensible, shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? It turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Sure, this can wait. Okay, boy. Easy. Essa é a velocidade máxima no momento, tá? Às vezes eu tô super lerda porque o game não tá deixando a gente andar rápido. Deixa eu fazer o seguinte, tirar o ponto de destino dali. E eu vou botar o ponto de destino ali. Já tô saindo pro lado errado, né? Uma beleza. They must know where we are by now. Que silêncio absoluto aqui, mano. Os caras normalmente estão sempre conversando. So, we're heading south. Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but 
The way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. It goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. And this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. You're all right, boy. É, a situação está complicada, mano. Conforme os Estados Unidos. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Conforme os Estados Unidos evolui, de fato que fica mais complicado ser um fora da lei, né? Investigue o corpo. Vejamos. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Tá, eu estou com a Lancaster. Eu vou cuidar da arma antes, hein? Eu acho que é uma boa. Melhorar a condição dela. Com isso, recuperar dano. Cadência, recarga. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. And being careful. É estranho não ter ninguém aqui, mano. Are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Idiot. Essa corridinha para subir no cavalo foi esquisita, hein? Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. 
Ok, vamos ajudar esta família de alemães. Reflexo das nuvens. Insano. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. Year. Wait, just... Let me make sure this is right. They carry on along this trail. So you was just talking about something? He did. And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. <laughs> There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Whoa! Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Por acaso, a gente já tinha... Ah, a gente nunca tinha passado aqui por perto, eu acho, hein? A gente tinha vindo pra cá já, mas exatamente aqui, não. Oh, caraca. Cadê? Ah, mentira que errou, mano. Mais alguém? Ok, 
Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Tá, leve o cara de volta pra família dele. Mas vamos dar uma vasculhada. Estou interessado em itens bons e munição. Esses relógios acho que a gente consegue vender, né? Tem um chapéu ali, cara. A gente tá sem chapéu, mano. Isso eu noto que incomoda muita gente. Então vamos pegar o chapéu. Nossa, tá bonito o tempo, mano. Vamos nessa, Bilocotôncio. Cara, que episódio diferente da hora, mano. Tentar ir bem rápido aqui. Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Cara, alemão é uma língua complexa, hein? Eu não falo nada, eu acho bizarro. É, tipo, muito... Muito difícil. Além de conjugar, você tem que declinar também. Complexo. Eu tô seguindo a rota que o game nos deu, cara, e eu tô na dúvida se é o melhor caminho, hein? Deve ser, né? Talvez se eu tivesse pego um atalho, tinha ido mais rápido, hein? Tipo, fora da estrada, sabe? É, o cavalo tá reclamando um pouco aqui porque a gente cansou muito ele. Deixa ele recuperar o fôlego. Ok, estamos quase chegando. O ponto que eu tinha marcado no mapa é esse. E a família tá um pouquinho mais em frente. Yeah. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. É ouro, mano. Eu adoro ouro, vem. Quem diria que um cara de boa assim ia nos dar um barrão de ouro, mano? Que belo barrão. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. Uh. 
Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Capítulo 3, Península Clemens. Mano, eu imaginei que a gente tava pra entrar no capítulo 3 mesmo. Eu mencionei isso, né? Da hora, mano. Poucos dias depois... Água bonita, água formosa... Adquirimos um lingote de ouro, pode ser vendido para um revendedor e render um grande lucro. You okay, Sadie? I'm no damn kitchen maid. Pearson's driving me crazy. Well, we all got a pitch in. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Essa música agora de novo, mano. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. Well, don't let me bother you. Speak soon. Bom, tem missão para rodar com o Dutch. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. Mano, essa música, cara, vai me deixar louco ainda isso, véi. Mano, não, não. Não, 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 não. Bom, vamos seguir o Dutch. O que, que, que vai rolar, cara? Vai ser uma dessas missões malucas que você acha que não tá acontecendo nada, no nada. Vem um monte de coisa? Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Jose. Let's go fish. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. Pode ir, eu vou te seguir. Ah, sorry, boy. Bom, estamos descansados, né? É, esse lugar aqui é bem mais da hora como acampamento, mano. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. 
so keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Mano, que jogo bonito. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> well, well, look who it is. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. Now, he is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train! Don't let them get away! And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Well, the Anderson boys? Robbery, murder, kidnapping. They're the lowest of the low. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. What are you waiting for? I'm out here. Woo-hoo! You all are got oh. Idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Yeah. See if you can get alongside the train. Tá difícil, hein? See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandma. You cop bastards. I didn't do nothing. Go to hell. Mano, que missão insana. Talvez minha missão favorita até o momento, hein? Meu Deus, cara. 
A gente ajudando a polícia. Isso. Mano, a gente apanhou muito, vai. Vai. Agarra. Ai, pra pegar o cara. Ok. Nossa, apanhamos pouco, hein? Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in, come on. A fine job, well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Yeah, okay, boy. We're gonna Mano. Left here. Que missão espetacular, cara. Nossa, foi muito louco isso, velho. reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Come on, partner, before he wakes up. Carry him over then. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. 
However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents of some sort. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea. You see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Eu vou recusar. Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. Mano, foi muito da hora essa missão aqui. Que vídeo da hora, mano. Que prazer gravar isso aqui pra vocês. Missão concluída. Temos missões aqui pra fazer. Cara, a gente tem algumas coisas pra vender, né? Seria bom comprar algumas coisas também. Deixa eu ver o que dá pra vender por aqui. Ah, you're back. Blood bags Have a look. Valentine. All for sale. Except the floorboards. All right, but uh, if it has feathers or fur, keep it in the bag. Esses anéis a gente roubou, então não dá pra gente vender. Que droga que não dá, mano. Deixa eu ver aqui, documento não dá. Itens valiosos. Putz, mano, não tem muito o que fazer, cara. Eu preciso vender os itens pra alguém que aceite comprar, né? Ou seja, uma pessoa correta de bem, que não faz nada ilícito. Que nem a gente. Mas enfim, show de bola. Eu vou fazer o seguinte então, galera. Eu vou encerrar o vídeo por aqui. Espero que vocês tenham curtido. Se puderem deixar um gostei e compartilhar, eu agradeço. Ajuda demais o meu trabalho aqui no YouTube. E tamo junto. Baixem o bilômetro. É, é nóis, pessoal, vou ficando por aqui É isso aí, valeu, falou